Thanks for joining me for this edition of Beautiful Two Creations with Donna, where with every project I encourage you to start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can, and your creations can be beautiful too. Enjoy. I am still working on trying to create more storage space in my master bathroom. I came up with an idea for my shower area for all of the different kinds of bottles and the different things that I keep in the shower on the little shelves that are in the shower. It aggravates me to no end when I get ready to clean the shower, I have to move all those different little bottles to clean all the little shelves. Otherwise, if you leave them there long enough, you know what will happen when you get ready to finally move them, you'll have that little black ring. So. I, I've tried to come up with an idea that's going to keep me from working harder, but working smarter. So, my thought process was to, um, the back side of my shower area, this back wall, the idea that I had was if I could possibly measure and get a shelf put up there, then all of the little bottles and everything that I have, I could, um, put on that shelf. I have uh, my husband's head and shoulders, my shampoo that I use on my hair, we have facial wash, mouth wash, cleaning supplies, regular bar soap. All these things that are on the shelves, every time I get ready to clean the shower, I have to move them. So, if I can get a shelf that goes on the back side of the shower and it will go from wall to wall then I can house all of those items up there and I won't have to move them every time so that was just a quick idea that I came up with so what I did was I measured the area and I went to Lowe's and I had them cut a piece of treated lumber we purchased that I brought it home it was a perfect fit so what I'm going to do now is just simply Put some paint on it so it won't look like just the, the plain raw wood. And this is it. So I'm just going to put some paint on it really quick. And I'm actually going to do that while I'm filming. And this is going to be the first of what I'm going to call a real-time series. Because a lot of times when I look at videos, I know that they have to be edited. But I want you to, at times, see how quick and simple you can really do some home projects and not really take a lot of time. Because if you're like me, I don't have a lot of time. So if I can do something quick and easy, then that works for me. So I'm going to actually paint this right now. And I do not believe in wasting time, wasting product. You will not see the back side of this piece of wood, so I'm not going to paint the back side that will go up against the wall. I'm not going to paint the top side where all the products or my supplies will be sitting. I'm not going to paint that part either. So I'm going to paint the very front. I'm going to paint the front side that will be showing, and then we'll paint the underside. And let's just see how long this is going to take. So right now, according to my time, when I'm recording this, this is about 4 o'clock, about, about 1 minute till 4. So we're going to just see how long this is going to take. Hopefully I won't have any bloopers. If I do, it will certainly be real time. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want it. You know, I don't want to be showing the plain wood. So if I just put a little quick coat of paint. Actually, the paint that I'm using is a chalk paint. And it's by Shabby Paints. And I purchased these paints from um, a local store here in my area. That's called Nook and Cranny. I go see Miss Judy. She's a sweetheart. And that's actually the place where I took my painting class at. And this is the color that I used when I did my first painting project. And I had some left. So this paint is non-toxic. Toxic. No paint, no priming, no sanding. And it's actually wonderful to work with. It's very forgiving. So I'm just 
just going to continue painting this and just see how long it takes. As you can see, I'm just using a little dollar store sponge brush. And it's going on very easy. I've actually tried several kinds of, this is like the third kind of chalk paint I've used. I've used Annie Sloan. And there's one more. Is it called Dixie Bell, maybe? Seems like it's Dixie something. But as you can see, I am over halfway done. And this is great because it, this color kind of reminds me of the colors that are on my walls. Actually, my bathroom area, my master bedroom, my living room area, and kitchen area. They are all painted with uh, Sherman Williams Revere Pewter, and that's kind of a, a gray, the grayish paint. It has a gray tint to it, and that color pretty much stays true to its color even with sunlight. Sometimes when you have the natural sunlight that comes in, it kind of changes the color of the paint, or at least makes it look that way. And it may kind of have a green hue to it, or maybe sometimes even a blue hue. So I think this is going to look great because it's going to kind of blend in with my paint color. I just have this piece of um, treated wood propped up on a a little serving a little serving table. That's what that is. Okay. Um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just did not want the natural wood to be showing. And that's good enough for me because I don't want to waste my paint. I can use it for another project. So again, this is this is the piece of um, treated wood. Top is not painted because it's not going to show. So I've painted the bottom side. And I'm just going to let that dry. And actually when I install it, the only thing I'm going to have to do is just sit it up there. Just sit it up there. Okay, it is 425. And I actually started this project about 355. Five minutes till four. And 30 minutes later, I have painted my shelf. I have installed it which only consisted of me just placing it up there because it's very secure because of the side of the, the shower. So it's, it's up there secure, where, whereas I didn't have to do anything to just place it there. I decluttered all of my little shelves, my miniature shelves in my shower, clutter-free, this is going to be wonderful. It's already kind of a hassle to clean our shower because whenever I clean it, I actually have to step inside of the shower to clean it. So I have to clean it on the inside. Or while I'm on the inside. So this is going to be wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So as you see, some projects that you do, they don't really have to take a long time. 